Getting it all set up here. What's up, everybody? You spread the word, all right. Hello, good evening. We got Facebook too. Hey, Facebook. Well, we got. Uh, Second episode here of uh, Friday Feeling with Peter. And we got Facebook on this week too. And we got Instagram Live, and that's about it. Next week, we're going to take over all, uh, all, the, all the networks. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. I have nothing to say to any of you. All right, so I made an announcement that this week I'm going to make the same drink that I made. Hello from Italy. I'm going to respond to a few of you in a little bit. I'm going to make the same drink that I made last week. If you missed last week, I made a very dry martini, and I figured I'd do it again this week. It's going to be different probably next week, maybe be some food next week. But I'm going to walk you through this drink recipe. Then we'll talk a little bit. I'll answer some questions. I saw all of your posts and song requests and questions. They were really, really awesome to read. And some surprising, some surprising choices. So uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a second. In the meantime, I think some of you are joining me in the drink making process. So for those of you who have gotten the equipment that I uh, told you to get, we're using a lemon, a fresh lemon. I hope you got a fresh lemon. Uh, something to mix the drink with, a stirrer. Last, last week, this was in the dishwasher, so uh, had to use a knife and uh, a bucket or something. And a nice martini glass, the fr and, and the gin, of course, the star of the show. So, um, first we start with this glass. Everybody take your glass, who's making the drink with me, take the glass, rinse it with some water, quickly, and put it in the freezer. Alright, so you got it kind of wet, just stick it in the freezer. Okay. Hey, B-Rock! It's really cool to see everybody here who's joining. Alright, so I hope B-Rock, you're making a drink. Barack, the great bass player, has joined us. We used, did you like, did you catch that opening uh, show? The opening music to this? It's another level. I'm looking at all the comments from Facebook too. So anyway, this is good. We let the glass freeze. Then we take some ice, stick it in this kind of a thing. Okay, that's next step. Get some ice and get your white dry vermouth. Yep, this is what I'm using. I'm using a, this one here. But it could be anything. But I like that one. Alright, you throw some ice in here. I'm trying to read comments as I go, by the way. If you're making the drink, let me know you're making the drink. Say, I'm making the drink too. Hey, from Italy. Hey, from Toronto, France. Wow, we got a lot of people here. Hamilton Heights. Alright. All right, so take a little vermouth, like a, a cap, not even a half a cap. Oh my God, I'm out of vermouth. Oh, what a problem. That's, uh, that's a sign that I'd, uh, 
rather not uh, reveal right here. Oh my God! Magically, a new vermouth. How many martinis do you think it takes to get through this tiny bottle? Anyway, I call it the uh, survival. All right, here's the other vermouth, by the way. This is a nice one. All right, so you pour it in. You pour it in the ice. You stir the ice. You let it. You let it. You let them get to know each other a little bit. Facebook, I'm sorry, my camera angle's a little off, so God knows what you're looking at right now. Then you drain it. So just drain it. You're gonna get a little mix of. Uh, just a tiny mix, a subtle mix of water and vermouth going right back out. But if you smell it, it's all fragrant right now. So that is not a, a waste. Now we take what I like to call my pocket size gin. Just a little, the little bottle. I'm using Bombay Sapphire like I did uh, last week. What a week it's been, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but I hope you guys are uh, all indoors and not leaving the house. There's a lot of a lot of crazy people out there still just in their own worlds leaving the house. This is one of a big kind of a big the bigger size of your shot glass. Two and three. And you know what? Why not? That's cause it's Friday. All right, now what you do is you take another handful of ice and you add it, you add it, add fresh ice. Okay. I'm gonna let that sit for another second. All right, I'm gonna sit for a second. And now this part is really key. You just, you just swirl. Nothing to do but swirl. Thumbs up back to you. You just swirl. This is an important part of the dilution process. Because um, it's about to dilute your liver pretty good, so you got to dilute this first. Wow, Argentina, what's going on? You're drinking St. Germain gin gimlet. That's cool. Making it at midnight. Somebody's making this at, well, I guess a lot of you are making it, a lot of you in Europe. Anyway, it's starting to smell really good. Anyway, as you get to make these, you'll get to know how long you want it to dilute, and there's a magic little percentage. In a few seconds, we're gonna get the glass out, but don't rush it, do not rush it. Vermouth panic, somebody said. Yeah, yeah, I was panicked there. Oh my God, I almost had to end this live and run across to the liquor store with six masks. We got New Jersey here. We got Atlanta, wow. Okay, I think it's time. Let's get the frozen glass out of the freezer. Okay, looking pretty good. That's pretty nice. How's your, how are you guys looking? How's your glass looking? Los Angeles, a lot of people. Napa wine country, I am very jealous. Very jealous of you. Brazil, it's a hell of a group we got here tonight. Okay, now you pour it in. Look at this. I'm a little embarrassed to be as excited as I am. Hey, Barack, you know, uh, if you're still watching, last week I talked about you. I didn't mention you by name, but I said a friend and I, friend and myself always joke that the best part of drinking is actually not drinking right before that first sip, which is why you all saw the glimmer in my eye as I poured. Now you peel a nice, thick, long piece of lemon. 
That exerted way too much energy because I've been sitting in the house for three years and I've gained about 60 pounds. Here. And if it's fresh, you'll see it kind of squirt in. Just squeeze it on the top. And you'll see the bubbles and the oil. And then go right around the rim. But of course, Copenhagen. Anyway, that's my martini. It's not really mine, but it's a version that I've uh, acquired through the years. Anyway, everyone, thanks for joining here. Episode two of Friday Feeling. Cheers, everybody. Another week gone by. We have to get through this somehow, and right now this is the answer. Salute. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. I think it's better than last week. Wow. It's different than last week. You know why? I think because I never mixed two vermouths before. It's a happy accident. A happy accident. So let's have a few sips. Maybe ask me some questions if you guys have any questions. Let's have a little drink, a few sips, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to the music part. Cheers back to you. Hello, Dallas. That is a 20. Somebody said this is a $20 martini in Manhattan. You're damn right. Yeah, I've even seen $25 in uh, some places. It's, it's crazy. Cheers back to the UK. So first question we got here is uh, any new albums? Yes, there are new albums. My next album is called 88 Keys and Me, which is going to be a group of songs covering the gamut of influences that I've had, piano player influences through the years. Like everyone going from old to new, and including people like Errol Garner and Lady Gaga and Scott Joplin and Billy Joel. I just wanted to combine all these uh, people who have influenced me in a way that is uh, hopefully expressive of uh, something that I have to say. I always found like there's links between people that uh, you know you'd never really think. So that's that's the album, 88 Keys and Me, and we're making really good progress. We'll start releasing things pretty much after this. I think craziness subsides, and we may do it like single by single. We may do maybe a few at a time. If you guys have any requests on how you want to absorb the music, write me, let me know. The other question is, what's the worst drink I ever had? Um, what's the worst drink? It's a tough one. I hate when they make uh, old fashions and they muddle the cherries. A lot of times when you make an old fashioned, I guess a bad bartender is gonna just take the orange with the actual orange, not just the peel, and the cherry and add a lot of soda. I guess that's the worst drink that comes to mind. And somebody says, my wife gives me more lemon than vodka. I'm not sure how you mean, Simon. It could be read a number of ways. Um, are you planning a new tour in Italy? Yes, I am, Irene. It's all in the works, and we may be doing some live things in the meantime, particularly for Italy, but open to everyone, of course, and uh, I can't wait to get back on the road. Cecile asked if Europe tour soon. Yeah, as soon as I can leave the house. Uh, what else we got? Reggio Calabria, I remember that that show was so much fun, and I loved, the, I loved being in Reggio Calabria. All right. Favorite song I wrote on East of Angel Town. You know, I was, I'm very proud of that album. That was like my first record that opened up the writing world to me. So I'm really proud of it all as a collection of pieces. But um, I'll play one that's my favorite. It was kind of a, I, I may play one or two that are my favorite. Uh, when we move to the keyboard, I will uh, talk about that a little more. We got France here. Let's see, a lot of Facebook questions. 
I don't really know how to use the Facebook platform as well, though. Greetings from Poland, Seattle. I can't wait to come back to both of those places. Chicago. Favorite Billy Joel song? So many. Uh, Jesus, so many. So many. That, that's an impossible question. What's the hardest part for me during this quarantine? Um, I mean, it's. I feel very lucky uh, to be safe where I am, but it's challenging, I think, everybody's sense of uh, reality. Like, every day is a, a new delusion. I was a little already... Uh, a little off to begin with. This quarantine's not helping. So, I don't know. You know, I'm doing one day at a time. I uh, I like watching uh, Cuomo in the morning. When this whole thing is over, I'm going to turn him on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to see Cuomo. Uh, what else we got? Hawaii, Aloha. That's a place I really want to go. But greetings from Bermuda. Unbelievable. Scotland. Ohio. Wow, what a diverse group. Facebook is really kicking it up a notch here. Sorry, Instagram. Although Instagram's growing pretty good. Hello from BC, Canada. So I'll answer another uh, couple questions, and then we'll... Uh... How's your drink, everybody? Is it, is it working? Usually you just need one. One's not enough, but two's too many. South Africa. Who's my favorite vocalist? Jesus, so many. That's another, that's another impossible one. A lot of my favorite vocalists also happen to be piano players. So people like Ray Charles, uh, some, I mean, Frank Sinatra wasn't a piano player, but he's up there, probably the number one. And um, Shirley Horn, I love Shirley Horn. Stevie Wonder, I like people who sound like themselves. I was joking, I forget, was it with uh, Tony? Tony Glousey, we did a podcast, The Trumpet Player, on Wednesday. We were, I, we were talking about people who speak one way, and then they pick up the mic, and it's like, who the hell is that? So I, there, you could kind of smell. That's not always inauthentic, but most of the time, for me, it reads that way. All right, what else we got? Brian McKnight is a great artist. That's a hell of a question. I agree, though. Ukraine, we had great. Sal, salute. Salute, Sal. Oh, look at this. Francesco says, my, <laughs> my girlfriend is going to kick my ass when I see her again if I drink spirits. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to know how you get when you drink spirits, if that's the case, Francesco. Bad Francesco. Stick to wine, wherever you are. All right, how about one, one or two more, and then we're gonna. Yeah, I guess we're pretty much on time here since this is a very tight schedule. What inspires my songwriting? Um, everything. I mean, life, really, life. It's part of the reason I do want to go to music school because. Uh, I don't want to know too much about music. I just want to be able to go out there and uh, see what hits me in the world and put it into a song without worrying too much. There's a certain amount of theory that I like, but uh, generally, and, and you, I think I believe in, you need to know, learn. I've studied classical for many years, but uh, you know, the world inspires me, movies inspire me, books. This, there's a lot of ways into that room. Okay. Hello, Belgium. All right, let's go over to the. Uh, let's go over to the piano. All right. Let's see how we can do this. All right, hold on. I got the drink and the phone, and the drink and the phone. All right, hold on. I'm going. I'm going. All right, everyone's still there. What's up? Baby Grant, I love that song. By the way, who is drinking this cocktail? If you're drinking this cocktail and you want to, on Instagram, 
not on Facebook, on Instagram. If you want to share and show me your cocktail for a few seconds, let's do it. But only if you make the cocktail. I'm going to wait for a few minutes. See if this goes. Do I need some light? I think maybe. I'm going to put some light on. Hold on. Okay. All right, so people are drinking. Did I miss any requests here? Hey, JB, you got a... Uh, you got a drink in your hand, Joe? I know you got a drink in your hand. I'm talking to the, the drummer, uh, Joe Nero, but all right. Play some Fats Waller. That's the first request I see. Let's see if Facebook, oh, let me see if I could get you to watch the keys a little better. All right. The song I used to play all day long. Somebody just wanted Fats Waller. And I used to drive my sister insane. I would do this all day. Uh, drove both of us crazy. Oh my God, I gotta move. This martini is shaking. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but I blame it on the gin. Anyway, that's Fats Waller. Oh my God. I'm so out of shape too, not, not just on the keyboard, but uh, I had to go out and get food. <laughs> my sister says that just agitated the hell out of me. I'm sure it did. Bringing, bringing up old wounds. Oh my God. What was I saying? We have to, uh, I went out to get food and I was carrying these bags. It was like two small bags. And I was just out of breath with my mask and I was just out of breath. Woo! Um, I'm glad I asked you guys to write in for uh, requests and one of them is from Oliver requested a song that I never recorded that I just like and since it's Friday and since it's in in tune with uh, the spirit of this show I'm gonna play it for you now <laughs>
is an embarrassing live stream here. <sighs> wow. I'm really out of shape, but that was fun. Thank you. Look at those applause. I hear the applause. Yeah, my, my neighbors, we got problems. What can I tell you? We got problems. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the comment. Thank you. Thank you. What am I drinking? Veronica is asking, what am I drinking? You're a little late to the party, Veronica. Oh, my God. Next week, you tune in at 6. I just want to do this to straighten people out. That's why I do these live things. I want to just straighten people out. All right. You wish you had me as a neighbor. I don't know. I don't know. Small doses. It's the key to life. That's why we're going to end this thing pretty soon. But uh, we might as well finish this drink. A few more questions. Please ask me some questions. <laughs> some funny comments here. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Somebody just finished the martini, you're ahead of me. Pittsburgh boys checking in, hello Pittsburgh, make another drink. You don't wanna see that pod, you don't wanna see that live stream. One more song, all right, I'll give you one more. What should it be? You know, based on your questions, I had a list of a couple of uh, songs, but you know, once you go, once you get it, you know, on this thing, you know, plans change, which makes this fun. Hello from Portugal. What's, be <laughs> What's better, a drunk audience or a drunk piano, somebody asks. I think they're both pretty good. I'm getting a lot of requests for this one song. Actually, two are kind of tied. Two are kind of tied. I'm trying to read all these. So nobody wants to join me for a toast live if you have a drink in your hand. Before we go, nobody wants to join me for a quick little toast. You gotta send a request if you wanna join. I think everybody's a little afraid. Maybe episode three, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do that. It's hard to, to read these comments and respond and play, but. All right, we're gonna do one, we're gonna do one more. And I thank you all again for joining, really. This is a lot of fun. And uh, I'm already looking forward to next Friday. Spread the word, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And in the, in the coming week, tell me what you want to hear, ask questions, and I'll prepare even more questions ahead of time because right now I'm going off of what you guys... Tony Glousey, what is this? Okay, so how do I do this? Let's check out. All right, I got a request from Tony. Hold on. I'm going to add him in. Let's see what... This is on Instagram. Let's see what... Tony is unable to join. All right. It's the end of you, Tony. It's the end of you. What did I do wrong? Anyway, we got another week. Cheers, Anthony Cohen. Thanks for going live. Thank you, Rachel. I'll, I'll leave you with, uh, with a song that, um, that I got a lot of requests for. So, and maybe the ne next week I'll do that other one that I was talking about to, uh, to get to everybody. And, and again, Comment, send me, send me notes this week on what you want to hear next week. And uh, Tony over here, he wants me to try it again. You got to send me. All right, let me try it again, Tony. This is Tony two times. Two times you're trying to be Tony. Waiting for Tony, it says. Hey! 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 I'm in. Hey! I came Sorry, out. Face. I got uh, Tony, the trumpet player on uh, Instagram. Two times in one week, Tony. That's right, two times. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. Let me uh, move this a little I'm, bit. I'm in yeah. the garage because I'm, I, apparently I'm supposed to get a drink to join this thing, and, and I realize all yeah, the drinks. Rules. <laughs> Look at this. What do we got? Stella, White Claw, Maker's oh, Mark, 
tell me what tell me what to Smirnoff peppermint twist. Whatever works for at this point, you already broke the rules. It doesn't matter. Now you're on. What do you mean? What what was the, what did I miss? Pour a drink, we'll toast. You got you got something over there? Let me see. I got this nice bottle of Oban, actually. Uh, oh, that all right? That's good. Hey, yeah, you I'm like that? We as we toast here. Let me figure this out. Jim. We're toasting. <laughs> How about this? All right. Seconds now. About 30 seconds. Here we go. Is it Oban? We're pouring. All right. All right. How about that? How about that? All right. Cheers to Friday. Tony. If you guys don't Woo! know him, follow him. Great. And we were on the pod. You know, we were on his live the other week. Great keyboardist, singer, trumpet player, really most songwriter, singer. Follow Tony. He's great. I'm lucky to have him I'm, on. I'm band. trying. I'm trying. Thanks Thank for having you. me on. Joe Black next week. Joe, you're not off the hook. He's got to get on this, Joe. Anyway, <laughs> doing this stuff too. I'm going to say that every week. Cheers, oh. Tony. Cheers, Peter. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Happy Friday. That Friday feeling. Happy Friday. Yeah. I'll talk. I'll talk to you over the next few days. All right. Stay good. Bye. That was fun. That's cool. I never did that before. All right. I'm going to give you this just because you asked for it a lot, everybody.
Thank you all very much. Thank you for joining that Friday feeling with Peter. Send in your request for next week, episode three, and we'll see what happens. I really appreciate everybody joining. Stay safe and smart and healthy. And uh, it was a pleasure to share the last half hour with you all. So thanks for joining and uh, I'll see you next week. Now, if I could only figure out how to sign off these damn things. <laughs>